We are here today at the Sanctuary Cap Cana Resort and Spa in the Dominican Republic. We're super excited to tell you all about this hotel, so stay tuned. Hey, hey. welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Max. I'm Marin. We're Voyager Group. We post weekly videos with travel tips, hotel reviews, and videos from some of our favorite destinations around the world. So if you don't already, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. It really means a lot to us. Right now we're traveling during the COVID pandemic. We wanna be sure we cover all the safety precautions that the hotels are taking by adding an additional category called our COVID safety rating. Additionally, if you wanna check out how we traveled during COVID-19, check out the vlog that we have in the upper right hand corner and you'll be able to follow our entire trip down here to the Dominican Republic. So our first category is location. And location we rate four and a half stars. Right now we're inside the gated Capcana complex, which is a very exclusive part of Punta Cana. Capcana is really beautiful. It's a huge landmass that's part of the Punta Cana area. And basically what they've done is they sectioned off an entire area of land where they've essentially built a community with dozens of resorts, dozens of apartment buildings, an entire marina. It's really a complex area. And they've even gone as far as to build an entire theme park that's built in the caves that they have here. So there's really a lot of interesting things happening down here in the Capcana area. It's one of the areas where you find a lot of the tourism, particularly a lot of the high-end hotels are found in this area. The sanctuary Capcana has been here for quite some time and it's located on a pristine, beautiful, almost cliffside area of the Capcana gated community. It has two beaches and some of the buildings are actually built on top of the cliffs, which is beautiful. What makes this property really unique though was what was here before they built the hotel. There's a lot of colonial architecture that they've built the hotel around. From early occupation of the Spanish, there's some beautiful leftovers with these incredible castles castles, these colonial style buildings, and what they've done is they've really kind of built in reminiscent of that architecture with the way that they've done the pools, the way that they've done different rooms, and they've just kind of added on to it. Even one of the first churches in the Dominican Republic stood right where this hotel is, and they've turned that church into a bar. One thing to note about this location is that seasonally, you might run into seaweed. We do happen to be here during one of the times that this reddish brown seaweed called Sargassian does happen to be in the area. Now, it happens to come usually when they're experiencing hotter weather, and sometimes it'll come up along the beach. One thing we will say is that although the water was not the pristine blue that you'll sometimes see in a lot of the photos here, they did do a great job of continuing to remove it from the water and remove it from the beach so that it didn't pile up on the beach. If you look at other resorts in this area, you will see sometimes that people have reported hundreds of feet of this sargassum seaweed that has piled up along the beach. For the effort that they've put in, I think it's really, really worth noting. Again, there's really nothing you can do to avoid that completely. It is something that is happening not just here in the Dominican Republic, but in the entire Caribbean. Which brings us to our second category, lobby and check-in. Lobby and check-in, we rate four and a half stars. We mentioned that we're traveling during kind of an interesting time, so the experience that we have is definitely quite a bit different than what is normally happening here on property. But the experience overall was done really well and we were made to feel incredibly safe from the moment we got here. COVID notwithstanding, they did make a really nice check-in experience. And there were a couple things that typically, if you'll know that we're a little bit picky about, things like welcome drinks and how you're treated on arrival. And obviously with COVID-19, a bit of those things were a little different. They obviously didn't have welcome drinks. Uh, they also weren't grabbing your bags out of your car when you arrived. And in fact, because of the sanitation precautions, that was something where they had literally as little interaction with you as possible. Yeah, and the lobby itself is absolutely stunning. There's actually three separate lobbies here on the property but you check in at the main lobby and it's absolutely breathtaking the moment you walk in even with the hanging vis screen between you and the front desk and when you arrive into the Capana area you enter through a gated community uh, access point and every guest does have to register with the hotel so it can be a little bit confusing when you have to go to a separate building to get registered they also took our temperature gave you hand sanitizer and that started to become a trend in the area which we absolutely love yeah, I will say one thing that wasn't quite as smooth as it could have been with check-in was the arrival to Capcana, the gated community. It was very confusing when we arrived, whether or not we were supposed to register outside before entering or whether or not we were just supposed to go to the hotel. We actually didn't receive any emails or any information prior to arriving, but if you are headed to the Capcana area and any hotel in Capcana, you should know that prior to arriving, before pulling up to the gate, on the right hand side, there is a registration building where you'll go, you'll give your passports, you'll register as a guest, 
and you do that before you actually check in with the hotel. So it's really important to know. So real quick on lobby and check-in, let's tell you about what they're doing for COVID-19. When you access the main lobby, you have to rub your shoes on a mat to make sure any bacteria is removed, and you stand in front of a very low-key camera that'll take your temperature for three seconds before you're able to enter into the lobby. Now, one thing to note is they also took our temperature with a handgun right when we got out of our car to begin with. Another thing that they're doing for COVID-19 was they never actually touched our bags when we got out of the car. In this particular case, I think that it's an acceptable thing given the situation. So when we arrived, we had to pull our own bags out of our car and the first thing that they did was they sanitized the entire bag. Then they took a sticker and they actually put it on each of the bags that had been sanitized to indicate that those bags were now okay for the staff to touch and to take to your room. I thought that was a really good procedural way to just start off your trip in a really safe way. I also had to go park the car because the valet service is something that they're obviously not doing during this time either. They also have some pretty advanced sanitizing at the front desk, any documents, pencils, anything they hand you goes through a sanitizing machine while you're sitting there to make sure that it's safe for you to touch before you sign any documents, hand over your passport, etc. We'll talk a little bit more about all of the other COVID related things that they're doing in the lobby and on the property at the end of the review. Our third category is rooms. Rooms we rate four and a half stars. This hotel is so unique. It has so many different room types and three different very unique style buildings. And the style overall is incredibly elegant. You really can't go wrong, even with a standard junior suite. They have over 16 different room types and all of them are really intricate and very interesting. Yeah, they have a castle that you can stay in like a real king and queen. And they also have beachfront villas. They've got a couple of other villas set back a little farther on the property. But something that's really unique is that every single room does have a little bit of an ocean view. Yeah, and all the suite types are actually super unique. I mean, you can be in a really cool suite type like we are right here, right on the ocean in the king and queen villa. Or you can be up in the castle atop a beautiful pool with this amazing view of the ocean. I really don't know how you can go wrong with any of their suites. Yeah, normally we have pretty strong opinions about one room type over the other. And honestly, I would have booked a regular standard room and been very happy. This resort is a high-end all-inclusive. And as part of that, a standard room type really isn't a standard room type that you'd find at a normal hotel. What they call their standard room type here is a junior suite. So you do still have a sitting area, a really nice, beautiful bedroom. The decor is really high end and beautiful balconies. You can look at the photos on their website. And when we entered our room, there was actually a safety sticker on the door indicating that no one had entered the room since it had been sanitized and deep cleaned by the staff. Like Max mentioned, we're in the king and queen suite. So we are in a separate villa that's not connected to anyone else right on top of the water. While we don't have access to the ocean directly, we do have a little lukewarm jacuzzi, which is perfect for the cool nights of 80 degrees here. Now at the time of booking, this particular suite type was the highest end one that you could book on property. However, recently they've built a couple new suite types that are really, really cool. We were able to see these from the outside. We didn't actually get to go inside, but they have some new suites that are built in the castle. They also have a unit that's right next to us that has a pool in it. And on the other side of the property, they have some waterfront beach villas that look absolutely stunning. Our fourth category is service. Service we rate four stars. When we look at service, we think about consistency, we think about speed, we think about friendly service. One thing that's really great down here is that Dominican hospitality in general is fabulous. If you've been down to the DR, you'll know that Dominicans are just really nice people. And so that comes through across all of the service and all of the staff seem to be really happy and engaged and just really glad that you're here, particularly in these tough times. Yeah, and even with the mask on every single one of the staff, you can tell they're smiling when they're talking to you. It's also worth noting that all of the staff staff are required to wear masks and follow certain protocols. So service does look a little bit different these days, but they did a really nice job overall. As far as service goes, there were some things that were lacking. The speed of service in general, I think was a little slow, particularly room service and anything that was ordered to the room. But that notwithstanding, the service in the actual restaurants was really, really good and they were super attentive. If you watch some of our other reviews, you will notice that sometimes we are a little bit harsh because we do think that service is one of the most important things at any hotel. For this particular stay, I do think that we're being a little softer than we usually would be just because we are taking into account the fact that because of COVID right now, they are undergoing a lot of new staff retraining where they're having to go through tons of procedures that they wouldn't normally be doing. I think during normal circumstances, the service here would genuinely be spectacular. Our fifth category is dining. Dining, we rate four stars. 
We did mention that it is an adults only, all inclusive property, and we absolutely love a good all inclusive if you've seen any of our other reviews, and the food and drinks are excellent. There is a very broad range of all inclusives. This property is what we consider a high-end all-inclusive. Food is typically a la carte, there is a buffet option, but in general the food is really high-end and presentation is nice and they have a wide variety of outlets to choose from. Yeah, they have two formal dining options that do require a very specific dress code. There are the Capriccio restaurant and the Steakhouse. All of the other outlets um, are more casual and they do not require long pants and close toe shoes. Some of the outlets on the property that are not currently open or at least not open as often as they are, typically there are multiple options in the evening. However, right now it's restricted just to the two fine dining restaurants as well as the on the beach restaurant, whereas there would normally also be a pub as well as a buffet option. In addition to the low occupancy, there's also less staff on property and there's so much work for them to be doing to be sanitizing everything and constantly going through that I think having less outlets right now is something that's important. Now, Mary and I are typically not big buffet people, but right now we love the buffet here because it's actually really just ordering. So when you walk into the main buffet for breakfast, they have done an incredible job. They have actually encased the entire buffet in glass. It's amazing. Like the same type of glass that you'd see in a nice shower. They've done the entire buffet. So as far as traveling during COVID, that was one of the things that I think this hotel did a phenomenal job of, is really making you feel comfortable and pivoting from their original strategy, which was having more buffet type dining, to being able to still offer that same kind of experience to guests, but do it in a safe manner where there's less risk of transmission. What I would have loved to see is a little bit more outdoor dining. Uh, both of the formal restaurants are indoors only. And as we like to travel to beach destinations, we do prefer to sit outside, particularly during this time. However, they did a great job spacing the tables very far apart. Our sixth category is facilities. Facilities we rate five stars. They really have everything. Two beaches, five pools, one of which is salt water accessed by the castle swim up suites. They also do typically offer activities like paddle boarding and other non-motorized water sports included. During COVID they are not. They also have a full service spa, which looked absolutely beautiful. And they offer service at the pool and the beach, so you can order pina coladas from any number of the bars. Even during this COVID time, they are still offering a number of activities for guests like yoga at 9 a.m. They also have like a dance thing, um, and they do fun games and activities as well. And throughout all of this, they are taking COVID into consideration and maintaining social distance. We also requested that yoga mats be brought to our room because we wanted to do our own yoga out on our deck, and that was something that they accommodated, so I think that that's great. Our final category is style, and style are rate five stars. This property is literally our dream home. <laughs> yeah, this property has an awesome style. All of the decor is just so on point. They've just created a beautiful, eclectic, beachy style that just, with all this wood and wicker and white accents and whitewash and cool stone walls and all of this incredible lighting, throughout the property. And everything is so consistent. We love the furniture. We see these gigantic egg-shaped loungers and hanging chairs everywhere. It's really an incredibly beautifully put together resort. Because it's in the middle of these buildings that already existed, these colonial buildings that have incredible architecture on their own, adding to the colonial style on the buildings that are already here was just an amazing way to tie the entire property together. The colonial style matched up with all of this beautiful architecture has really created an awesome beach chic atmosphere. And for our COVID safety rating, we rate this property four and a half stars. From everyone wearing a mask on the staff, to the way they check you in with the temperature control, washing of the shoes, and all the this screen that covers the front desks. It's really a very nice place to feel right at home the second you walk in. Yeah, a couple things that we didn't mention when we talked about COVID before were the fact that they do sanitize your documents when you come in, in addition to sanitizing your luggage. They continue to give you hand sanitizer before you enter any restaurant. And of course, the staff is always wearing masks or protective coverings over their face. Now, one thing that is worth noting is that we didn't give them a perfect five stars, largely because although they do recommend that guests wear masks in public places, they don't actually require you to wear a mask. And so that is one of the things that, unfortunately, we weren't able to give them a full five stars on the COVID rating because of that. And it is our personal recommendation that anytime you're going anywhere outside of your home, particularly if you're entering another country, Please, please, out of respect to the local people, to the staff serving you, please wear a mask. And overall, we rate 
this property four and a half stars. Even with all the COVID changes and the crazy amount of work that this property has had to do to adjust to the times, we have had an absolute blast and we felt so safe here. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. It really means a lot to us. And of course, if you have questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to check out our blog at BoyagerGuru.com to check out all of our experiences here in the Dominican and our travels down here. And check out our photos on Instagram at VoyagerGuru. And of course, if you have any other questions about the Dominican, if you haven't gone to our website yet at VoyagerGuru.com, you'll see we have destination guides for each of the places that we go. So for the Dominican Republic, we have a full destination guide that lists all of the hotels, all of the reviews, and all of the great things that we suggest doing here in the Dominican. You'll be able to find out everything from where are the best places to stay to what are the best seasons to travel. So if you haven't already, click the link in the description below, go to VoyageGuru.com and check out that destination guide. We're going to be staying down here in the Dominican for a while, so be sure to check out some of the other hotels we stayed at and some of the guides that we've created here on YouTube. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so you get notified and check out the videos on the end page. And as usual, I'm Marin. And I'm Max. And we're Voyager Guru. See you out there.